Okay, in the last video I've shown you how to uh, create a soft eater VPN server on Akash network and how to configure the soft eater VPN client to be able to connect. Uh, soft eater uh, can actually also be used with the open VPN client uh, either the uh, open VPN connect software or open VPN GUI or from Linux or uh, any other flavor of open VPN clients uh, and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to actually do that so go to templates and to network and let's deploy our soft eater VPN client deposit our 5 AKT again we're gonna be using my provider the europlots.com okay let's wait a bit for the bits okay we're gonna select Europlots and approve the transaction has gone through and we can go to leases and these are the uh, this is the URI that we will gonna be using uh, to connect and these are the forwarded ports so the soft eater vpn client actually the default one actually uses uh, port 443 over tcp uh, but openvpn uses 1194 uh, or udp uh, it can also use uh, port 443 over tcp so basically you can use either one of these and i'm going to be showing you first how to connect using uh, port 443 tcp and then later uh, after that i'm going to be showing you how to uh, connect using the default open vpn port which is 111194 udp okay so these are our, uh, the details that we need we need to go to the logs and just like in la like like last time we we will need this certificate but we will also need the open vpn details uh, this akash currently only supports tunnel type uh, the, the uh, tap type is not supported uh, uh, as of yet uh, this is the uh, protocol that uh, we're going to be using to establish the tunnel um, this is the cipher for encryption this is the uh, hashing algorithm using and uh, yeah these are the uh, the type of authentication the robust level and, and so on and so on so what we need we need to copy starting from here actually starting from here so it says cut here <laughs> so let's uh, take this all of this and copy we need a blank uh, no okay we need a blank text file and like last time we need to get rid of this soft eater prefixes including the space so we need this we're gonna copy it and go to replace soft eater with nothing soft eater and pay, make note that there is a space here so replace all and this and we actually need to remove this as well and we need to remove the bottom okay so that's that's the open vpn file it needs to look like this so we're gonna save it on desktop and we're gonna call it europlots.ovpn and save we need to go to, to the openvpn connect client and 
click on the file browse and select this exact uh, file that we have just created ah right I forgot to set my uh, remote which is we need to go back to the leases and copy the URI paste it here and we need to again Akash port this one so three zero three one eight three zero three one eight oh what did I do three zero three one eight okay and save again and let's import it okay the username and password are in logs this is the password we're gonna refresh and save the password and we're gonna connect and we don't need uh, the external certificate that's not required and yeah we should be able to connect right now and here we go we are connected um, this is the IP address we have been assigned um, this is the server public IP and this public IP we will actually will see here let me go to check IP check IP in DNS log we need to accept this because the this site is actually uh, running over plain HTTP so this IP address is exactly the same as this address so basically this is the public IP address of, of uh, the provider basically uh, uh, the whole world thinks that we are physically located here so, which is actually the point of uh, of the VPN server right so uh, let's text test uh, uh, performance I suspect that the performance will be much uh, worse than when using the soft detail VPN client but uh, let's see speedtest.net performance is way worse but uh, you know it works that's kind of the point of course this is not best practice best practice would be to actually use the uh, soft eater EPN client but uh, hey it works it's just to prove that uh, soft eater VPN client has uh, is fully uh, compatible with uh, the open VPN protocol uh, both of these uh, protocols actually use uh, uh, their kind of the, the, the type of VPN is called the SSL VPN basically uh, uh, every firewall in the world will think that uh, this is just plain uh, HTTPS traffic uh, so nobody uh, will actually uh, be able to figure out uh, that uh, we have encrypted all sorts of traffic right um, let's disconnect and let's uh, remove this profile and let's go back to our uh, configuration file and let's try connecting using UDP UDP we need to replace TCP here with UDP and we also need to replace the port uh, which we'll find in, in, in CloudMOS uh, deploy uh, under leases and it's this one ah. okay so 32738 so the one basically that's uh, being forwarded to 1194 uh, is the one that we need so 32738 32738 save and let's uh, import it okay 
username was what was the username I forgot let's go back logs refresh and save password password should be yeah and let's connect we don't need again same thing we don't need the external certificate and we are connected and we actually got the same IP address we got earlier. So, and here you can see that we are using UDP before. So uh, let's test this performance, speedtest.net. Let's see. Again, I'm on wireless. Uh, this laptop that I'm recording this on is actually uh, using wireless so this is not a very good representation of the performance but uh, it's 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 uh, it kind of shows the shows the ballpark uh, but yeah I was actually expecting UDP to be uh, way better than uh, TCP but uh, apparently I was wrong Uh, for two reasons tcp is connection oriented uh it's using using the three-way handshake and there is much more overhead when using tcp than when using udp udp is just you know uh, best effort uh type of traffic but it's much more efficient uh when we have a stable connection uh so yeah here we go this is the tcp version and this is the UDP version. Uh, actually, let's rerun this. I think we can get better results. I'm really surprised that the UDP uh, connection is so bad. Yeah, the first measurement was actually correct. Again, this is not best practice. With Soft Eater VPN server, you will want to use the Soft Eater VPN client as well. So, but uh, yeah, uh, some uh, some uh, companies have uh, are actually using Open VPN client. So you do, in that case, you don't need to install any other software on your uh, PC to be able to use it. Uh, so yeah, there, there are scenarios in which you would want to use uh, uh, the OpenVPN functionality. So yeah, here we go. That's it. Uh, if you want a bit more background on uh, maybe uh, get a better picture of uh, the Soft Eater VPN client and the uh, uh, server, sorry, and, uh, and what, uh, uh, you know, uh, know more about it uh, maybe you should watch my last video which is also the first video of this channel uh, so yeah I hope you have found this uh, video informative if you did please like share subscribe you know and uh, yeah until next time